Hello Crafty Queens. I wanted to uh, do a quick video. I am just fascinated by PicMonkey. For one, it again is free, free, free. And all of us who are um, project lifers, one of the one of the central tasks that we have to do is take these photos that we have and put them into three by fours um, and print them on a four by six paper. Whether that means we're going to use a selfie or we're going to use a regular Canon or some other printer, we're always trying to, to maximize the photos we can get on a four by six. And so what I have discovered is that you don't necessarily need Photoshop or Photoshop Elements or in my case, I use my phone as uh, my photo editor, but then that means I have a lot of space I'm using up just to try to put together collages so that I can print, which ultimately <laughs> means I don't have any space to take pictures. And so I found a new solution is I utilize PicMonkey all the time. Okay, so so without further ado, so this is what we're going to, we're going to try to create something like this. It's a four by six. I would just normally just print this from here, but I'm going to show you how you do it. So you're in PicMonkey right you're in pick monkey and you're going to go to collage and um, it's what it's doing right now it's it's asking me to uh, pick some pictures so we're going to go pick some pictures wherever you have your picture stored and for me this is um, a phone transfer and I'm trying to pull all of the pictures off of my phone transfer and get them into my album so let's just pick two easy ones that are going to be easy to make into those cute little toes. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just going to pick two pictures. We're going to pick, okay, we'll pick uh, Priscilla here, right? Okay, now we'll use some of these pictures on the left uh, in a minute, but first I want you just to see uh, how we do this. Okay, so you get this, you get this square out, right? And the first thing you need to do is kill one of these boxes. Bloom. Now watch, so now you got two squares. That doesn't look like it's the size right. So if you see this little lock proportions, you want to unlock it. You think it would make it look, they would say unlock, it doesn't. You just have to <laughs> trust that it's now unlocked. And and you'll know that by the fact that it did, see mine are still locked because it's still trying to uh, make them even. But that's okay. We're going to try it one more time. It's kind of a hit or miss. Okay, perfect. See, I typed in 1800 by 1200, and that is the four by six ratio, okay? And then, pretty much if you did this, you did everything. <laughs> so then it's a matter of uh, take a picture, drag it over, take a picture, drag it over. It, it just goes in there. You can move it up around, up and down a little bit, whatever you want to. Um, Okay, and then you want to drag another photo in. I know last time you guys saw this picture, so we're going to see it again just because you're used to this silly picture of, of Isaac and Priscilla playing. Okay, so technically I am done. I just need to save this photo, right? And now I can print it. I'm going to come over here and save it as uh, Chubby Chest, <laughs> right? Well, what else am I going to call it, right? Okay, and I'm going to save it to my computer wherever I'm saving my pictures. And for me, I have a little folder called PicMonk Edits. Not that one. I want this one. Okay, PicMonk Edits. And now that picture is saved. However, the magic is not done. You actually can now go in and hit Edit. I think I showed you this in the last video. And you can add text. You can add, in our case, what we've been doing a lot, not that I'm going to do this, is you can add overlays right so my overlays are stored here in right okay and then I could you know I could put this on here somewhere right I could just it's kind of like a, a tab let's do it like here just so you can see I just wanted you to see that again how easy it is to add a stamp to your image. You know, what, what makes sense on this one? Probably like here, maybe. But it gets lost in her hair. Anyway, you get the point. But you can just delete it and put whatever. So then you've saved it, and now you can just print it. And I thought that would easily show you how quick and easy that was. In under five minutes, I showed you how you can go on PicMonkey 
use it and make four by six, uh, one four by six that has two three by fours. There's other options, there's other collages. Um, I'll show you that in another five minute video. Until then, talk to you later. Bye bye.